And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Browns offense getting ready for their first drive as they will do so behind their quarterback in his third year now from Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield. And I think Baker Mayfield has had a tremendous offseason getting ready for this one because he put the focus squarely on football and cut out a lot of the peripheral stuff. Just focused in on being the best quarterback and leader for his Cleveland Browns team. And now all he has to do, take care of the turnover issues of last year. 21 interceptions he threw, second most in the NFL. First carry for Nick Chubb. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And his throw is incomplete. Kareem Hunt is running back, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Mayfield off the play fake. And he's got his man on the crossing route. That's Landry. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 40. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And the Browns. There's Jarvis Landry with a nice reception and pickup there. And when you say Pro Bowl, you better think Jarvis Landry. He's been selected to it every year since 2015. The only season he's missed, his rookie year. And he is durable and tough. We talk about that all the time. How about this for an example? Hasn't missed a game in his first six seasons and was a 1,000-yard receiver for the third time in 2019. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Mayfield with it once more. Flushed out right. And he's going to keep it here. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. A gain of eight yards. And it's third down. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Mayfield to throw it. He finds Beckham complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Big completion there on third and short. Keeps their opening drive alive. Not only alive, but plenty of possibilities now. First and goal, and you know me, I'm a big advocate. If you're going to throw the ball, throw it early in the down and distance count. First and goal from the six. They'll run with Chubb, and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air.
The lone man in the backfield here is Chubb on second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Short of the goal line. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll give it to Chubb. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Browns take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for 10 plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. Point after try, forthcoming. It's up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And Nick Chubb the one to finish it off as he does so with a touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Steelers take over in first. The Steeler offense set to go to work, and once again at the helm, their longtime starter, that's Ben Roethlisberger. And for Ben Roethlisberger, there are a lot of question marks coming into this year because he missed nearly all 2019 with an elbow injury. And if he were younger, maybe not as many questions. But he turned 38 back in March. And now the Pittsburgh Steelers expect to see the old Ben Roethlisberger, who's thrown for over 56,000 yards in his career, leading their team. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 24. He'll set up to throw from the gun. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And it's second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Setting up the screen, this is Samuels. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Roethlisberger on target to Washington. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. Going top shelf for Smith Schuster. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he takes this way down deep into Cleveland territory. It's a great throw right there. And really showed a lot of confidence in his receiver. He certainly did. Ball was in the air a long time. But he counted on the adjustment that we saw near the end of the play. 
as that ball was descending, who was going to come down with it? He counted on his guy, and he gambled correctly. The Steelers were last in the NFL in red zone touchdown percentage a season ago, down around 35%. First and goal. They'll run with the NC State man. It's Jalen Samuels. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. Brings up a quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second and goal from inside the five. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Round seven, Steelers, nothing. Line of scrimmage, again, the four yard line. Second and goal. First carry for James Conner. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think. Pushing and fighting his way in for a Steeler touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Boswell now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. Seven here as the kicks away. JoJo Natson now on the return. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. JoJo and a nice return sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. Now it is a good time to be a Cleveland Browns fan on a streak right now, winning four in a row. Last time Cleveland was four and one, by the way, 1994. And the offense, they have scored at least 30 points in all four victories this last week, taking care of Indianapolis CD. And also, the defense has forced a ton of turnovers this season as well, so they're doing it on both sides. They certainly are. Miles Garrett, their star defensive end, who got the big contract, he is more than playing up to that right now. What a role he's been on. Six sacks in the first five games, second in sacks right now in the NFL, and even better, oftentimes it's not just a sack, but a strip sack takes the ball away from the other team. This Cleveland team, you better bring your game if you're going to deal with the Browns right now. Two divisional road games coming up now. Real big test week six when they visit Pittsburgh, and then it's on to Cincinnati.
Throwing again on second down. Mayfield. Now Mayfield lost the football. Cameron Hayward. Ben Roethlisberger's back. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. From the gun, Mayfield. And that is incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. a 39-yard punt, give him nine on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Back out here comes Pittsburgh's offense, and they're fresh off a week five win against their in-state rival Philadelphia, 38 to 29. It's the sixth time that they've played since the turn of the century. And they're even now. Each team has won three games since then. But Charles, really the story in this one was rookie Chase Claypool. How about four touchdowns against the Eagles? Something that no Steelers player had done since 1968. Yeah, this has been a really impressive start for this rookie out of Notre Dame. They got him in the second round. And Brandon, as you've noticed over time, Pittsburgh tends to find their best receivers in the second round. Not necessarily the first round guy. Or even later, it's been amazing how they grab those guys and develop them. Four touchdowns against Philadelphia. Now Pittsburgh's 4-0 for the first time since 1979. And guess what? They finished in the Super Bowl. Every time they've started 4-0 since that time frame. So they're pretty excited about that, about the opportunity. I have one question for you before we talk about their schedule. Are you buying the nickname for Chase Claypool from Canada? Stature similar to Calvin Johnson's, who was Megatron. They're calling him Mapletron, coming from, from, from Canada. What do you think? You know, I like it. It's, it's catchy, yeah. If he keeps playing like this, we can roll with it. All right, listen, I'm going to roll with it if he plays like this as well. They're home for Cleveland next week. It's three straight on the road. Big one at Tennessee. Another big one at Baltimore. Then they're at Dallas. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Back to Smith Schuster, this time complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And people worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. down marker at the 31 it's third down again it's Roethlisberger and he'll find Washington that's complete and into the end zone touchdown Pittsburgh James Washington 37 yards and the Steelers have taken the lead I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Extra point now by Boswell. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive, four plays. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone.
Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he returns this to the 22. It's JoJo Maxson on the return. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So, what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 22. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Well, we got a second here, Charles. Let's play believer, non-believer. I'll give you a couple teams off to surprising starts. You tell me if you believe that they will continue that way. And let's start with the Browns at 4-1. and Non-believer last year, believer to start this season. Believer, even after they got whacked in the opener by Baltimore, I think they'll contend for a playoff spot. Okay, the Bears, same record, 4-1. and one. I still want to see more out of this team, but I like how their defense plays. Still need consistency on offense. And then lastly, what about the Panthers at 3-2? and two? Oh, One of the great stories in the early going. Non-believer, because I think their division's too tough with Tampa Bay and New Orleans. But boy, I like what they're doing so far at 3-2. and two. Way better record than what people thought. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here we go, dude, get off the field. <laughs> Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Got a man, that's Rashard Higgins. A gain of six there on first. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to seven. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Now the second down throw on target. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First down now, but that clock rolling. Mayfield on first down. Gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. Nice grab there by Kareem Hunt. It's going to be fun to watch him expand his game here in 2020. Versatile in the passing game, can carry it on the ground as well. Remember, he only played about half the season in 2019. 37 catches and a touchdown during that time. He's going to find more snaps this year and really expand this offense. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Mayfield on play action. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Yeah. 
Seventh play in this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To throw, Mayfield. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Stephon Tuitt able to shake free and get home for the sack. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Here's Jamie Gillen now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. It'll be a gain of 11, and it'll give them a fresh set of downs. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We just watched a very good first half out of the veteran QB, Ben Roethlisberger. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. The completion good, this is Eric Ebron. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Good catch there by Eric Ebron, and the Steelers are hoping that they see the 2018 version of this young man. 66 catch, 750 yards, and 13 touchdowns. And that was good enough for second in the league with the Indianapolis Colts. The Steelers like to throw to the tight end. They hope Ebron is the guy. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. B.J. Goodson there on the tackle. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Throw 
Throwing on second and eight. Roethlisberger got an open man. It's Washington. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Third. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, balls delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. There's a catch by Juju Smith-Schuster, and he's hoping there's plenty more of that coming. 2019, not the year he expected. Lost his quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger, early. Dealt with a knee injury and missed four games, and his stats really fell. Just 552 yards through the air. But in 2018, what a big year he had then with Big Ben. 1,426 yards. He's hoping that the return of form of Roethlisberger leads to the return of form of himself. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now Roethlisberger getting this one into the hands of Smith-Schuster. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 15 yards on the play, first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. Now Roethlisberger on first down and hitting Juju on the slant. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. The quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. The Steelers were last in the NFL in red zone touchdown percentage a season ago, down around 35%. It's first and goal. That's complete right around the eight. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second and goal from inside the five. Ben to throw again. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. To throw again is Roethlisberger. The Browns' D locked in on third down. Brings up fourth. Out of the end zone. It's now fourth down and goal. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Boswell's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to seven. Round seven. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, 
the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. 25-yard. There's Baker Mayfield as he and the Browns offense comes back out. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it struggled. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When the, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll start things off with a handoff to Chubb. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He was brought down. Cameron Hayward in on the tackle. A three-yard gain. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down now, it's Hunt. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Over the middle to back him. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Odell Beckham Jr. And there's a good catch by Odell Beckham Jr. And in 2019, even though it was one of the least productive seasons of his career, he was still a thousand yard receiver for the fifth time. Also caught the longest reception of his career as well. An 89 yard touchdown against the Jets on a Monday night. Explosive is Odell Beckham Jr. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Mayfield off the play fake. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. The tackle made by Mike Hilton. One yard gain. Brings up second and nine at the 50-yard line. That's the end of the third quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Mayfield now from the 50. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. It's a first down on a gain of 10. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jump start with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. A first down throw for Mayfield. And it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. Oh 
So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. From the gun, Mayfield. Incomplete. Mayfield's pass thrown away and incomplete. It's third down and 10 yards to go. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And he completes it to Hunt. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time, Mayfield on fourth down. And no, it's incomplete. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. So they really needed points here in a two-score game, could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. A real chance for them to salt this game away after that turnover on downs, holding a two-score lead in the fourth quarter. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Ebron with it over the middle. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Another nice pickup through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. They go draw play. This is Samuels. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Steelers on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Ready, 
So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And they'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here at a game that looks to have been decided already. Boswell's kick is good. And that will open the lead up now to 20 to 7. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Chris Boswell. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee. Maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 20. Now Mayfield and the Browns. Down by 13. A minute 53 remaining. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Field on first down. Flush to his right. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Working out of the gun, Mayfield firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Field to throw it, and it's complete. Hooper, and he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Mayfield to his new target, Hooper, for a Cleveland first.
first down now, but the clock continues to move. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11 yard pickup. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Ten more there and another first down. Brandon, a lot of times you'll see running backs rotate in and out of the game, whether it's a completed pass, a good run, it doesn't matter. Here, not only does he stay in, but they go right back to him, and he makes another nice play. Back-to-back -back catches. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And again, it's Mayfield. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Field on play action. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Jarvis Landry, Pro Bowl wideout, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Mayfield with it once more. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. First and goal at the one-yard line. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Heinz Field.